So I want you to do this to manifest what you want in 2020. There's a very simple process that you can follow to manifest anything that you want in this year. This is Jake Ducey with jakeducey.com and a breakdown exactly how to speed up the process and manifest the things that you want most in life. Let's dive right into this video. Step number one is to say yes to your dreams. The word desire actually means day sire, day sire of the father. So whether you believe in a higher power or you call it God or you call it spirit or you call it the universe, it doesn't really matter what you call it. Alan Watts says you can't get wet by the word water, but the word desire is actually the universe or God seeking fuller expression through you. It's actually a totally holy and worthy thing coming through you. And what happens a lot of time is we wonder, are we good enough for our dreams? And so we don't say yes to them. We say no, we talk ourselves out of it. We allow the fear to control us. Remember, not only are you worthy of everything that you want, but it's actually God speaking through you for your desire for more money, for your desire for your dream job, for your desire to have your ideal romantic relationship and family life. It's actually, the universe wants it for you because the universe is always for fuller expression. And when you can say yes to that, that's when you get into the flow of actual life working on your behalf. And a lot of times what happens is people don't know how to do it, so they talk themselves out of it. And so right there down below, Tony Robbins is putting together a free training on the 27th to break down exactly how to make money from your passions, how to take your knowledge in, in, in art or in spirituality or in cars or whatever your passion is, how to take a knowledge-based business and start to make money at it without spending a bunch of money and without spending a bunch of time. So it's a free training on exactly how to do that. Because a lot of times people say, okay, I'm gonna do it, but I don't know how and they talk themselves out of it. So it's a free training on exactly how to get going so you can start making money from your passion, from your knowledge, and, and from the things that you truly love. So it's right there down below and it's a free training on the 27th. It's jakeducey.com slash Tony. Right there down below, pinned to the comments. Go ahead and check that out as well. Step number two is to give your talents with love and you'll be wonderfully blessed financially. Focus on the things that you truly love. In our society, we've been conditioned to believe that we can't make money at the things that we love. So we shrink our dreams. And the number one regret people have when they die is I wish I would have lived a life true to myself. And a lot of times we're told you can live a life true to yourself once you retire and you're 65 or 67 years old or whatnot. Well, the funny thing is, if you actually love what you're doing, you're resonating at an abundant energy. And so people are gonna wanna buy what you have. They want your service. So the irony is that when you do the things that you love and you actually know how to put it together in a sellable business format, you're going to be hugely rewarded financially, even more so than doing a job you hate because you're told you're supposed to do a job that you hate. You can't make money at what you love. So what I want you to do is say this to yourself. I give my talents with love and I'm wonderfully blessed financially. I give my talents with love and I'm wonderfully blessed financially. Comment that down below. I give my talents with love. I am wonderfully blessed financially. And when that starts to become the MO, when that starts to become the mindset that governs what you're doing, you're able to wholeheartedly approach the, the, the career and the work that you love that makes you feel fulfilled, that makes you feel creative, excited. And the byproduct of that is you're gonna be able to help a lot more people because you're truly passionate about it. You're able to overcome the adversities. You're able to spend more time at it and be more focused and have better concentration because you love it. And the irony of that is you're therefore gonna help people more because you're more passionate. Well, money is a, re is a reward for service rendered. 
And that's how you start to multiply it. And that's why I, I truly believe that our world would change drastically if people were, were able to not only do what they love, but able to make a living off of it. The Gallup poll said 75% of people are actively disengaged from their jobs. So the vast majority of us are doing things that we don't like. And the truth is, we can make a living doing what we love. And that's why I, I'm really passionate about promoting this event from Tony. It's right there down below, pinned to the comments. It's jakeducey.com slash Tony. It's a free training on how to get going, doing the things that you love and make a living at those things. Number three, don't follow the herd. Don't follow others. Don't follow other people's opinions. Follow your heart. See, the irony is that in our society, we're deeply conditioned to want everyone to like us so bad. It's, it's, it's wired deeply into, into who we are as human beings because we're, we've always historically been a part of tribes. Like the worst thing that could have happened so long ago with our, with our ancestors is you were excommunicated from the tribe. Like that was the worst thing that could ever happen to you. Well, now, we're still ingrained with that need to be liked and the need to uh, give our authority away to other people so we're validated. And so out of good intention, a lot of times people will tell us this won't work out. Don't do this. Hey, be like this. And we dress ways that aren't really us. We go for careers that aren't really us. We lower our goals. We lower our expectations. We lower our standards. And we start to walk a path that isn't even ours. We're, we spend 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years living a life that isn't really ours. And then eventually we wake up one day and we're like, oh my gosh, what have I been doing? I've been living a life that isn't true to myself. Because at the end of the day, what's the number one thing? Happiness. That's the number one thing. Okay, so if you could actually wake up, do the things that you love and have the courage to do it. Because more than anything, it takes courage because it's scary. Everyone else is saying, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. If you could wake up and do the things you love, if you could feel happy, even if the money hasn't come yet, even if the success hasn't come yet, even if that thing you want hasn't come into your life yet, you know you're on the right track because you're no longer doing what you do because the world says so. And when you do that and you keep moving confidently in the direction of your dreams and you have true happiness in the things that you're doing with your life, you will get the outer things. They will come to you as a byproduct. The law of attraction says like energy attracts like energy. So your energy is up here and you're going to start bringing people and circumstances and situations that match that shift. So don't follow the herd. Time to follow your heart. Courage isn't the absence of fear. It's when you're afraid and you're doubting yourself and you know, you're, you're, you're hearing all the voices of all the naysayers, but you do it anyways, but you say yes to your heart anyways. So follow the herd and you will end up 10 years later saying, what was I doing? It's time to follow your heart. Number four, in order to manifest the things that you truly desire in life, you need to clearly define your win it all. What's your win it all for the next 12 months? What is your win it all? What is it? Is it that one business idea that you have that you finally get it off the ground? Is that you lose 10 pounds? Is that you start dating again and finding the courage to date again? Is it that you start running one mile a day? What are your win it alls? Clearly define what your win it alls are. And once you've defined them, Pursue those things out of the love for them and the love for yourself, knowing that it will make you happy and let go of the outcomes. You're doing what you're doing because you know it's your purpose, not because you can get something or you might get something. Now, the irony of that is then you get lost in the process of what you're doing. And when you get lost in that, things start coming to you. You get the outcomes, you get the success, but you're not attached to it because you're not doing it to get something. You're doing it to feel something, to feel alive, to feel fulfilled. And when that happens and you're doing the work that you're doing, the, the things you're doing in your day because they're part of your purpose, you're going to be successful and you're going to win it all. Like I said, clearly define your win it all. 
So if you haven't yet, I invite you to pull out a pen and pad and write out what is my win it all over the next 12 months? What are my win it all things over the next 12 months? Put it up on a piece of paper, put it up on a wall, but let go of it and then start taking the steps. So if you're ready to really take those steps, like I said, be sure you check out Tony Robbins training. It's right there down below, pinned to the comments, and it's February 27th. It's jakeducy.com slash Tony, and it's a free training for how to start really making money with your passions and your knowledge and, and, and being an influencer in the world and being able to say, look, I'm not gonna make a separation between impact and income. I'm not gonna make a separation between my passions and my job. I'm gonna combine it all to one. And Tony has an actual step-by-step -step method that you can start to use to start to create success and impact with that. And it's right there down below. It's jakeducey.com slash Tony, right there down below, pinned to the comments. So this is Jake Ducey with jakeducey.com. It's important to remember that the word desire means of the father that your desires are totally worthy. They're totally holy. And you're worthy of receiving the good that you imagine. You're worthy of receiving all the good that you imagine, that you see in your mind and you say, man, I really wish that could happen and I really want this. You're worthy of receiving it because life is for fuller expansion, fuller expression, more abundance. But in order to get there, we have to say yes to our heart, walk away from the herd, walk away from the tribe, say yes to your heart, say yes to your, to your dreams. And when you can do that, and you can say, I'm gonna do this because it's gonna make me happy. You figure out all the answers. The answers come once you finally make that yes declaration. So comment down below, I am worthy of receiving what I want. Comment that down below, I'm worthy of receiving what I want. Comment that down below, I'm worthy of receiving what I want. And what I invite you to do is make that your declaration, make that your affirmation for today. I'm worthy of receiving what I want. And if you haven't yet, make sure you hit the like button on this video right over there. It's what sends us out into the YouTube universe. So hit the like button right over there. And then right there down below is jakeducey.com slash Tony. Right there down below, pinned to the comments. And you can go ahead and sign up for Tony's free training on February 27th to teach you how to make money from your passions. Right there down below.